All right, guys. IFBB Pro 212 Pro Dave Henry here, the OG Giant Killer. I am about to show you guys uh, prepping a brisket flat. Uh, this is a whole beef brisket flat. Uh, it's around six and a half to seven pounds. So stand by, and we'll uh, get this rock and rolling. All right, guys. So what I have in front of me is a whole beef brisket flat. So there's two parts of a brisket. So you got the whole packer brisket, which is the entire monstrous thing, usually between 18 and 20 pounds. And then you got the flat, which is the top part uh, separated, the two muscles. Uh, these are uh, good for making your uh, burn ends or slices, either one. And your uh, the whole packer part, you can make burn ends, uh, your slices, or chop it up. So get yourself one of these. So we're back, got this bad boy uncovered. I'm gonna pat it down. It's already been trimmed, so it's pretty good already. If you do happen to trim it, you do have to trim it somewhere within a quarter of an inch. Keep some of that fat cap layer on there. Okay, this one's really good. Um, no additional trimming needed. So basically you wanna just blot it dry from all the excess liquids all right and i am going to be using my traeger beef rub today okay really only that's it it's going to be really simple you get the top side get the bottom side we're going to cook it fat side up this time we're going to cook it in a pan uh approximately six six hours or so Get the internal temp to about 190. We'll check it for tenderness at that point. And then uh, we'll wrap it up and uh, give it another hour until it's done. And then we'll pull it. And then uh, we will make sure that uh, we got our right tenderness for it. Wrap it, let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes. Let the juices reconverge on themselves. And then we should have it. So stand by one. All right, welcome back. So, found a little silver on this piece. You wanna get in there with your knife and start removing any of that silver. It's really tough. It's gonna be tough on the meat, tough when you're cooking it. So you wanna remove some of that. Get that out of there. And we wanna trim it within a quarter of an inch. Leave some of that fat on there. Fat is flavor. And this is definitely not your contest food, okay? Just to uh, throw that out there. And I'm a knife guy. This is my favorite chef's knife. This is from an Arizona cutlery. thing is used for everything. Alright. So get a little chunk of that off there. Alright. It's looking pretty good. So we Season this bad boy up. Okay. Around the sides, top, bottom. This is a rub. We are going to be rubbing it in. I'm going to let this sit overnight. I'm going to let it sit at least six hours or so, uh, preferably. Um, overnight if you can and then get on the smoker in the morning okay same thing other side Pretty good. 
I like this rub. I mean, I normally make my own, uh, but this one's a really, really good one for this particular cut of meat. So if you guys can find it, get it. If not, you can make your own. Uh, you can just uh, make equal parts salt, pepper. Uh, if you want a little more sweet in it, you can mix a little sugar, a little brown sugar. So from there, I'm going to trash that. We're going to wrap this up. We're going to put it in there. And we're going to see you guys tomorrow on the smoker. So we're back. Got the trigger on smoke. Had it, on, had it wrapped overnight with the, uh, the rub setting in. So there we go. We're going to wrap. We got the fat side up. We're going to put in our temperature probe. I'm gonna set it on here. So inside, I got it. I got a water pan right next to it just to keep it moist. Set the brisket over here on this side. All right, so I pretty much let this sit out uh, to come to temperature uh, pretty quick so that way it's outside. When you put it on here, it doesn't seize up uh, putting a cold item into a hot uh, smoker. So that being said, we'll get this on here. I'm gonna probe it and then we'll be right back all right so we got it on the smoker we got the probe inserted into the thickest part of the brisket itself got my water pan over here set got my temperature set to 250 and I'm gonna leave it uh, check it in probably about three four hours to see where the temperature's at and then uh, once we hit 190 we'll wrap it and finish it up from there Okay, so we're back. Uh, internal temp hit 160-ish. So basically we're going to wrap this up. I've got a mix of Worcestershire and water and some apple juice in here. And I'm going to pour with the brisket as we wrap it up. Give it added moisture and uh, make sure it's super tender and juicy. There we go. Get all of it. Leave a little opening top so that you can pour it down in there. Okay? I'll grab an additional piece just to go the other way there in case you get some leakage give it a tight wrap back on Now basically you should let it uh, hit internal temp to around 200, check it for uh, tenderness at that point, and then you're going to pull it off and let it rest. Alright, so we're back. We uh, hit internal temp of about 2, 201 or so. It's going to continue to rise a little bit, uh, carry, over, carry over cooking, carry over temp if you want. Uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to wrap it up, let the juices and everything redistribute across the meat. Basically at this point, bring it inside, throw a towel over it, keep the, uh, all the moisture inside the meat, leave it as wrapped as it was, and then uh, we'll come back, and we'll slice it up, and we'll have a good time with that. All right, so we got it off the smoker, uh, let it rest for a little bit, and already made a test cut. You see the smoke wing in there? You wanna cut it across the grain. Check it. Basically, that's the test for doneness. Should be able to pull that apart fairly easy. Get it. A lot of good stuff. No good. Kind 
That's beautiful. There you got it. All done. <laughs>